Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you how to uh, use BigBurner for Maya. I already copy on this machine uh, one project, so let's open it. So, uh, but let's first uh, run Maya. <clears throat> so, and the first what you need to do, uh, so just uh, uh, set a project. So, go ahead and uh, set up it. Um, so I have this is on my desktop and the uh, folder Batman. Okay, I choose it. Uh, so then I uh, just uh, open Sienna. So let's call it Batman uh, MB. Okay, so uh, yeah, for choose your textures and the Sienna and check is. Uh, you just need uh, using uh, general edit editors and then uh, file pass editor. <coughs> so uh, this editor will show you what uh, you have to use on your machine as textures. Um, so does maybe in this is in different paths. Uh, for the rendering, um, I mean in the rend rendering in the big burner, so you just need to keep your old textures in one directory on one project. So I uh, just to show you how to do it correctly. So this is actually have a really different um, um, the structure of the project. So this is have only um, like texture and uh, in root just a Batman fold, uh, Batman scene. So okay, so let's uh, do it correctly. So I just uh, create a new folder also on the desktop. I uh, call it this, you know, just a, like a uh, name of the project. So, okay, I do it um, like new folder. I uh, name it like Batman. So, um, then, okay, I need to open my again. Okay, I think this may be, okay. <clears throat> so uh, I just need to uh, uh, set a gain project so because it's a new project I need uh, just once correctly set up it. Uh, so yeah I uh, choose this folder is Batman okay I choose it and create default workspace so then um, I need it uh, I just actually show open this is folder and show you what's happened in this folder Okay, uh, so this is just to create workspace in here. Um, so let me do it like this. <clears throat> so uh, then I just need to um, uh, go to the project window and uh, just uh, press accept. So and this is just to build me my structure of the project. Uh, so uh, then I just needed to uh, save this scene, save as, um, and go to the, my Batman and scene. So save it, name it Batman. Actually use uh, really low use uh, versions version. Uh, zero one, save it. Okay, and then I just uh, close it. Wait a moment. Okay, so and then again I just run Maya and make sure my project set up correctly. So yeah, I uh, just uh, go open Scena. And see if my uh, scene is loaded from um, this project. Okay, open it and save it. And uh, oh, for uh, make sure again, you can actually get and uh, check if this is set project correctly again. So just a set and see if this is set in the Batman folder with all those folders. Okay, yeah, I choose yeah, and I make sure this is uh, set correctly. Okay, so then I just save Senna. So, and uh, then I just want to see my textures. Um, I'll pass editor. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm just to see this is all textures, it not in my uh, projects what I did right now. So this is uh, uh, in a really different folder. This is his classroom. So this this is really important. Uh, so you just need to replace this uh, string easily. So actually, uh, you have uh, maybe this is a um, couple lines. So this may be a really different location. When I replace it, uh, so and maybe this is a uh, tell me if this is not correct or something else but okay um so this is again the same uh like texture pass so i just need to replace this you know like just a replace string so i need siege it um okay file pass directory pass okay siege string um for easy way to do it so you just uh, uh, can get this uh, pass so just copy this so you just need to replace this is um, um, like texture I mean uh, like pass for the textures so just a copy it so I want to siege like this string and want to replace it with um, this is um, classroom okay I just need to get this Batman Okay, this is called Batman. Um, I just uh, copy this string, type it Batman, and then I won't uh, keep my uh, textures in source images folder. Okay, I put like uh, source. Okay, uh, source images. So and I'm replaced, but this it told me this is doesn't have any file. Okay, so I just need copy it directly. So I go to my again uh, older project with setup not correctly. I uh, get this all textures, copy, and just a paste in source image folder. So and then just re refresh my list. Okay, so right now it's uh, set up is all correctly. So this is uh, all textures in one project. Okay, so let's uh, save it. You save it. So then just uh, let's uh, quickly make a render. I'm also pause. I'm not waiting for you. Okay, so it's done. Uh, so I uh, make sure is, if this is everything fine. Okay, it's fine. So let me save again. Actually, I also uh, really like um, using these buttons. So like save. Okay, so um, then I just uh, close it. So, okay, so this is uh, my project. So I have uh, source images. This is all my textures uh, and scena. So yeah, I have my scena. Okay, so yeah, right now I just uh, needed copy it. I'm copy this file, and I go to my um, the storage. So in the storage, this is have a folder jobs. I uh, copy in this folder. So right now I just need again open Maya and set up it for the back burner. So let's do it. So actually, this is pretty simple. So what you need to do, you just need to uh, go ahead and set up a uh, set project. So and just uh, go to the network pass, go the same um, pass where you put your project. So yeah, you just need to click on the, this folder. So yeah, let's do choose. Okay, so we set up it. So open scena. And open scena, but we actually right now open in a network drive. So yeah, let's open. Okay, so right now it's a uh, pretty much set up. Okay, so um, let's render this. Um, actually, render is uh, is right here. So you just need uh, click on the render and create. Big burner job. Um, okay, so for the job name, you 
you actually don't worry about this. This is just a name where you see on the render farm. Um, so it's not really important at all. Okay, uh, stay uh, with the priority 50 because you actually have maybe someone parallel rendering. So and uh, don't do messy with it because it's maybe have a stack. Okay, if you have any animation, so you need set up start frame and end frame. So well, for now, I don't have any animation now. So uh, let's just uh, do it like five frame for the test. If this is going. Um, okay, for the manager name, so you need put a render. You actually you can do it non-sensitive um, words. Okay, let's do it. Render uh, port uh, do it zero. Um, okay, so and also you need uh, just replace um, this string where you can find um, on the information. So this is on the G star um, and information. So it is help info. So you can open it. Um, copy and make sure if you everything select and erase here and just a paste so and the date uh, but also uh, so this is uh, one uh, stuff what you need to do so just uh, use a custom command so and populate command so and and this string uh, don't worry about this. This is uh, really simple. So this is a uh, have a tree string. What you need to replace just a pass. I just show you. <coughs> okay, so this is on the really really end. This is have a tree string. Uh, one, two, and three. Three string. So the last one is uh, the your current scene name. So. Uh, this is uh, where you rendering your images. So and this is uh, where you located project. And last uh, this is one first one. Okay, so you need erase. <coughs> you need erase volumes and jobs like this with slashes. On uh, this is no slashes uh, on the beginning. So and uh, just to keep a uh, last one slash. So just a. Uh, Erase slash volumes slash underscore jobs underscore. So erase it and uh, uh, write Z like this, like uh, drive with letter. So yeah, like uh, just a Z and colon. Uh, so and again, repeat uh, this is same step with uh, next string. So this is volumes and jobs. So Z. And colon, Z and colon, and again. Z and colon. Okay, so and this is pretty much it. So what you need to do. So and then uh, you can click submit job and close. And the uh, back burner start to render for you. Uh, your scene. Okay, how it's check? Uh, so let's go in uh, to the, our project um, and see on the images because it's a default uh, folder uh, when it's rendering. Okay, I see also this is start rendering. Also, this have a temporary folder, but this is it's uh, just a temporary. So you need to see like uh, on the final. Uh, it's just to show you your images so yeah let's just a little bit wait i'm also pass it and you show and you see it okay so uh, yeah let's see it okay actually looking for the network pass okay, button okay yeah it's done so yeah this is uh, pretty much it so what you need to, to do and no, uh, so but also when you start uh, any a new project, uh, don't forget uh, just to set your project again uh, for the different location because if you continue working um, on uh, any other project, you're still in looking in this folder. 
So uh, when you actually start a new project, um, uh, like this, for example, let me start any new project, okay, new scene. So and when I build um, anything, so I just need to uh, completely start a new project. Okay, I just go into set project. Um, so I'm going to I, I love work like locally and go to the uh, like desktop and uh, make new folder um, like project test. Yeah, I create it. So and then <coughs> I just uh, choose uh, create a default workspace. So and then um, I needed to build my uh, project. So I go to the project window uh, and uh, hit apply. So then I uh, going to just to save my scene. So this is in my actual project. Uh, actually, no, it's not show me my actual project. Okay, let's save it. Yes, still in the Batman. Okay, so let's uh, go into the desktop again and uh, choose our project, the current project. Okay, test and scene. So yeah, let's save it. Test. And then version one. Okay, save it. And then uh, I working on this project. Project I apply textures, anything what I needed. Um, so then save it and move it a uh, project um, to uh, back burner. So but just uh, keep a uh, network pass. Okay, and also. Um, I wanna uh, show you some things uh, on the our uh, Paris project. So you yeah, let me set just a project. I wanna come back to the Batman and uh, show you what's happened with the textures. Um, so and I just uh, wanna check this out. Okay, so we have Batman. Oh, actually, I choose my project. I need choose my just a first uh, folder. Okay, I choose it. So then I just open Scena. Yeah, Batman. Don't need to save this. Okay, uh, so and then I just uh, going to show you how it's uh, looking the textures. So in the texture tab, I just uh, get any. So, and this is already don't have any pass. This is already built for us like source images. And uh, example, if this is uh, have any different location uh, it's every time keep this is source image. That's why you need it uh, set, set your project and looking in this project, this folder. So it's called source images. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, uh, this is uh, pretty much it. So what you need to know about how to render this back burner. Okay, so uh, thank you for all uh, for watching me. So see you later. Bye.